China is warning the U.S. not to open what it calls a Pandora's box by triggering a chain reaction of protectionist practices around the world. It also warned that if trade tensions continue to escalate, China could slap tariffs on some U.S. imports. But the tough talk wasn't limited to just China's side. Eunice Yoon sat down with the U.S. ambassador today in Beijing. The U.S. ambassador maintained the Trump administration's tough line towards China. Earlier today, Ambassador Terry Branstad outlined to me some of the areas which he believed China needed to address and that are part of the ongoing discussions with the Chinese. They need to reduce pollution here, replace uh, uh, coal with uh, liquid natural gas. We have an abundance of that. That's an area. Uh, insurance and financial services, cloud computing. There's many areas where I think uh, uh, there's opportunity to correct some of the unfairness in the trade situation and open up new opportunities. He also commented on reports that the U.S. Treasury was considering using national security laws to block Chinese companies from investing in American high tech and suggested that it could be an option. Obviously, China protects its national defense and they have a much stricter restrictions on who can invest here. And uh, I think we have to also make sure that our national defense and our technology uh, advantages are not stolen. And that's uh, uh, what the administration is looking at to make sure that uh, we are protecting America's interests uh, in the technologies of the future. Today, the Chinese attacked what they described as the U.S.'s own malicious practices. The Commerce Ministry said the U.S. was in danger of opening up a Pandora's box and, quote, triggering a chain reaction that will spread the virus of trade protectionism across the globe. Despite the war of words, the ambassador said the U.S. wanted to continue to build the relationship with China on trade and other issues like North Korea. He said he was encouraged by the recent visit here of North North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. I think uh, the conversations and the communications between uh, the president uh, Xi and President Trump have been really good and I think the fact that uh, Kim Jong-un is now interested and willing to meet with these other leaders and uh, that's an encouraging sign and let's hope it leads to uh, a safer and, and, and more peaceful world. North Korea's Kim Jong-un will hold a summit with South Korea's President Moon Jae-in on April 27th. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing.